All right, I think we're live. I think. It's been a long time since I've gone live. A long time. Let me see here. Let's see that here. Can you hear me, Debbie? It's been a long time since I've gone live. I can't tell if I'm live. I get an audio check. Oh, good. Yeah, I'm looking on, I'm on StreamYard and I'm on YouTube. Oh, now it's live. Can't get it to come up though. Don't know how. I think I gotta go to my channel. Give me two seconds. My channel. And then I mute. All right, then I mute myself over there. Da, da, da. Skip the end. All right. We got the YouTube up. We got the StreamYard up. What? You have a black guy and a bruised face. Did you fall off your deck? What happened? Marie, welcome. Glad you're here. What happened, Debbie? Did you uh, trip over your own feet? That sucks to fall. That's not good. That is not good. Really? Oh my gosh, was he like standing on your face? That sounds terrible. Mm -mm -mm. What do we got here? We got four. That's better than zero. All right. Yeah, we'll wait for some people to get in. Dental surgery, that does not sound fun. Not fun, but we got three trivia questions tonight. You can see the scrolling banner at the bottom if you're a winner. Just email me your YouTube name, your real name, your mailing address. I'm going to be giving away prizes. Nothing to break the internet, just fun stuff. Yeah, I think Debbie might win them all. Who knows? They're, they're, you know, they're Midwest picker related um, and two not related. So, you know how I like to give away inventory. Oh, man. Ugh. Yeah, I hope you were drugged up for that. That does not sound good. Not at all. <laughs> Patrick Murphy. I think that's Benny Hill. Let me check. Yeah, I love Benny Hill. Love me some Benny Hill. The more inappropriate, the better. I, I'm talking about old. I miss uh, Windows 98. That's how I learned. Um, I love that one. Bring me back to the old internet. I'm about to eat. Don't make me laugh. Don't make me throw up. Oh, well, I can't promise you anything. Oh, man. I never laughed so hard in my life than watching Benny Hill. He had a sad personal life, but man, he was one of the funniest guys ever. Yeah, I, my first nursing job as a manager was back in 2001 or the year 2000. And uh, they taught me everything I needed to know with electronic charting and care planning on Windows 98. And I wasn't much of a nerd, but that's how I learned, uh, you know, Windows Explorer and files and how to copy and paste and do this and do that. It was all in Windows 98. It just worked. And uh, I miss it. I wonder if you could emulate um, Windows 11 to look like Windows 98. I bet you can. 
95 yeah wasn't much different i like 95 too but uh this is what this is what marie's talking about right here <laughs> oh yeah baby good stuff we'll have to see but i got more not just that one I, i'm gonna do one call it pop in michigan but carbonated beverage soda pop whatever you want to call it i've got six of them and i'm gonna do one a week one for each live i can't tolerate more than that it says bloody nose bloody nose but i have six so i'm gonna let you guys vote in the chat when we get enough people in here i've got more than just that i've got bacon i got ranch dressing i got pickle soda uh i got sweet corn and i got peanut butter and jelly so i'm gonna let you guys vote in the chat whatever gets the most votes that's what i'll do if you're here for the blood i'll do the blood bloody nose i don't know if a bloody nose tastes any worse than just straight blood but we'll find out we will find out can't do trivia yet we only got four people here you gotta you gotta share this with all of your uh in-laws your neighbors you don't like say hey midwest pecker's live he's giving away stuff and he's drinking blood way to kick off my live it's been january of 2022 i think long time but i got fiber optic high speed internet installed uh what's today saturday i think it was thursday they came no problem at all spectrum fiber Took them about an hour. No glitches, no problems. Bloody nose, pickle, sweet corn. Da, da, da. All right, let me put it in the chat. D, D. D, D. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. That's six. Harry. Here it is, Harry. Gross Gus's bloody nose. But I was telling telling the folks before you got here, I have six different flavors. It's in the chat, a little Debbie and myself. I have pickle flavored, sweet corn, bloody nose, peanut butter and jelly, ranch dressing, and bacon. So I'm going to let you guys vote on what you want to see me drink. I could do the bloody nose. It don't matter. But you'd rather see me do the bacon or ranch dressing. What's the Kool-Aid? No Kool-Aid. These are all unopened bottles. Uncapped. Got my bottle opener right here. Ranch dressing. See that? Still sealed, ready to go. I wish it was Kool-Aid, but it ain't. It is not. And we're doing trivia. So, Harry, get your thinking cap on. I'm going to give away prizes. I got inventory off to the side here. I'm going to let you guys win some inventory. If you get the trivia question right, first person to get the right answer in the chat based on what I see, you are going to be the big winner. But we got to get more people in here before I give away my inventory. We're up to five. Harry makes five. I used to do this on Sunday night at 7 p.m. because more people are at home. Um, but I'm going to be busy tomorrow. So I decided to do this on Saturday night, which is probably not a good idea. There's a lot of live auctions and things going on in the reselling community so this is kind of a test um i did a speed test with this fiber internet and man it is blazing fast no problem at all no glitching 
nothing i should the video should look good it's a little bright in here i could i could mute the lighting a little bit but um i think it's working out good i'm gonna like this but yeah probably next week sunday i'll do live instead of saturday night you're not ready to vote well hello pamela lynn welcome yeah it's been a long time january of 2022 since i've been live um i should probably pin my own comment here can i do that da, da, da. Uh, yeah i can do that so let's see vote bacon vote which soda you want me to taste test bacon ranch i'm probably gonna spell a word wrong blood pickle sweet corn or peanut butter and jelly. Oh, I spelled the word wrong. Check it out. All right, comment. Then I got okay. Yeah, get out of there. The stupid little icons. All right, pin message. Message pinned. All right, let me know if you can or can't see that. I pinned my own message. Uh, I can't see it on StreamYard, but I can see it in YouTube. Uh, Jennifer Hayes is in the house. It's been a long time, Jennifer, a long time. It's January 2022. I pinned a comment, Jennifer. I'm doing a taste test of a disgusting soda. I got six of them. Yeah, I know. They're all gross. Look, check, Jennifer, check this one out. Bloody nose. <laughs> Harry voted for PB&J. Thanks, Harry. Thank you. <laughs> I'll still do the bloody nose if you guys really, really want me to. I don't want to do. A, I don't want to clickbait you guys and not do it. But I do have six. Debbie votes ranch. That sounds pretty gross too. I don't think Debbie wants to watch me drink blood. I think that's what it is. Da, 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 da. Eight. We'll get a few more. We'll do trivia. I'm giving away inventory. Um, if you just got here, Jennifer and Pamela Lynn, I'm going to do three trivia questions, giving away some inventory for the winners. Scrolling banner across the bottom of the screen. You just have to email me your YouTube name, your real name, and your mailing address, and I'll send you some eBay inventory. Whoever gets them right. You guys, if you watch my channel, um, you should get one right for sure. The other one's hard. And the other one you can cheat and Google the answer. But we'll see. Well, thank you. I missed you guys too. I was just telling these guys I normally go Sunday uh, night at 7 p.m. But I'm busy tomorrow. Can't do it. And Saturday night's a bad night to go live. There's a lot of competition. There's people doing live auctions and joey's got the day off and he's all mad because i made him participate in this live so he, he's kind of surly tonight but i think he'll uh you're gonna yeah he's gonna behave he's gonna behave i think if we get don't you know <laughs> yeah. yes i do jennifer i do if we get 10 i might do the first trivia question we got nine and we got some silent people so that's the other thing too i keep forgetting um there are some people that are watching that don't have a youtube account or they're not in the chat but they're watching so i appreciate you being here thank you for watching um unfortunately you can't participate in the trivia though or vote but i'm glad you're here i'm glad you're watching we do have a percentage of folks that just like to to lurk. Nothing wrong with that. I used to be a lurker too. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. 
So yeah, high speed internet spectrum fiber. I can't recommend it high enough. It is fast. I'm not even plugged in directly. I'm Wi-Fi. Yeah, there are Harry. There's there's people, in-laws, outlaws, neighbors, friends. They don't want anybody to know that they are subscribed <laughs> to me <laughs> or that they watch this uh, insanity. So they, they just go to youtube.com and they search Midwest Picker and then they find this live stream and they click on it. But if you don't have an account, which is really easy because Google owns YouTube. So your Google account is your YouTube account. But there's still people that just like to watch and not comment, which is fine. But if you comment, you might win. We're getting closer. You know, I think my signal is so powerful. Uh, when the weather gets nice, I can do it from outside like Harry does. I have a little fire pit on the backyard. That'd be fun. Of course, the frogs are so loud. The boy frogs out there looking for girlfriends, they are so dang loud, you can't hear yourself think. So maybe after mating season is over, I could do a live stream from the backyard, but I'm surrounded by swamp and it is loud at night. I do have a palate cleanser. I've got this little Debbie chocolate nutty bar. So after I drink one of these disgusting things, I can cleanse the palate and, and uh, be able to think straight. But so far, what do we got? Debbie wants ranch. And Harry voted peanut butter and jelly, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, those frogs are a problem. They just don't under they don't uh they don't respect noise pollution. They are loud. Chuck is here. Okay, now we can get started. All right, first trivia question is Thanks for being here, Chuck. I did pin my own comment at the top. If you want to vote in the chat what flavor of soda pop you would like to see me drink. So look at the pinned comment at the top. I can go over. There's so few people here. It's bacon flavored soda, blood flavored soda, ranch dressing, pickle, sweet corn, and peanut butter and jelly. So I did promise the blood, but if you guys prefer a different one, I'm, I'm happy to oblige. So I'm not looking forward to it, but I, my guess is Chuck would pick bacon, which that sounds gross. Um, I don't know if I want to do bacon, but I will. Get your thinking cap on, Chuck. There's going to be trivia and prizes. Free. Free shipping. Free prizes. Just giving it away. Not going to show you what it is yet, but it's coming up soon. Some of my eBay inventory. I'm just going to send it to you. You can keep it. You can give it away. You can use it as a Christmas gift. You can sell it on eBay. I don't care what you do. Good luck to you. You might want to use it, though. It is pretty cool. All right, I'm going to jump over to YouTube. We'll see what we got. Ten. All right. We got ten. Chuck is eating. All right, so Chuck, while you're eating, you probably want to watch me drink the blood soda, is what you're saying, because that would be really fun. I think that's what he's trying to tell me. He prefer I don't if he's eating, that's fine. All right, we got two votes. Oh, Pamela Lynn said ranch. I'm getting all my names all mixed up. Harry said PB and J. And Debbie said ranch. Oh, 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 oh. We got two votes for ranch, so I'm gonna move ranch to the front of the line. <sighs> Good thing I checked. All right, we got two votes for ranch. I'm not looking forward to that. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Because half of these are not sweetened, if you didn't realize that. So, like, I don't think the ranch soda has any sugar in it. Um... Bacon might. Sweet corn does. PB and J does. Pickle does not. Blood, I don't know. Um, 
yeah so if they don't have sugar oh man that's gonna taste bad really bad yeah we got davy right up there can you see him see see davy right there right there davy and goliath oh How cold is Wisconsin, Chuck? We got, I don't think we know what we're doing here. High of 36, 35. I don't know. Chuck is still eating. So Chuck, are you saying you want us to wait until you're done eating to do the trivia and the disgusting pop? You want us to make it all about you? I'm, I'm happy to do that because that's why I do these lives. To satisfy the viewers 11 watching well that's funny because we've only got like five people commenting <laughs> so so we've got we've got lurkers i like my lurkers i also like new people that have never been here before people that are just browsing youtube and they just randomly see somebody's live and they click on it they've never been here before kind of like messes with them a little bit All right. Well, we got to have more votes. We got two votes for ranch. I'm going to put these bottles in order of importance here. Oh, yeah. I bet. It, it's been crazy. Like a month ago, it was 60 degrees, 70 degrees. All the trees are budding. Now it's back to winter again. I don't understand what's going on. All right. 13. I don't know what that means. Oh, we got 13 in the house. Oh, wow. Look at that. We got a lot of lurkers. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know. We need more votes. I will do a trivia question. Um, maybe that'll get people excited. Oh, here we go. Another vote. Uh, I need my glasses for that, Chuck. Amaze balls. I'm really old. I don't know what that means. Ken voted P, B, and J. All right, all right. So now it's a tie. We got two votes for P, B, and J, and two votes for Ranch. Not a single vote for Blood. Harry's happy. Yeah, it's two and two. All right, let's do the first trivia question. Maybe that'll fire up the crowd and they'll just log into YouTube and then they can start commenting. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I won't touch that. I, I just sometimes Chuck is so smart and he's like hip to the current vibe of what the kids are saying. I have no idea what he's what he's saying. I'm just slow. All right, so you want to do a difficult trivia question or an easy one? <laughs> so the blood I got from Mackinac City, Michigan, at the tip of the mitt. You know, there's the Upper Peninsula that we stole from Wisconsin. And then there's the tip of the mitt is Mackinac City. And that's where I got that. Some candy store, tourist trap store. They had crazy soda. I got more over here. I've got a blackberry pie soda, but it's not gross, so I didn't include that. And then uh, strawberry shortcake soda. So I didn't include those because they're good, but um, yeah, there's a store up there, a cotton candy store, leather store, knife store, candy store, and they sell all this crazy stuff like jelly belly, bamboozle, jelly beans, and all that stuff. But if I'm going up there again this summer, Harry, if you want me to buy you some um, blood flavored soda, I'll I'll ship it to you. You just let me know. All right, I'm gonna put the first. Do I put it in the chat last time, or do I just say it? I'm I'll, I'll do both. Trivia question. Can't spell tonight. Trivia. Question number one. Harry sent me. 
Zombo man. All right. Welcome. Yeah, I'll hook you up with blood flavored soda. Welcome. Glad you're here. Still time to vote. Uh, uh, PB and J. So that's three for PB and J and two for ranch. Oh, you ranch lovers. You got to step up. It's now three against two. All right. Trivia question number one. This is the easiest question tonight. I'll say it and put it in the chat at the same time. All right. Trivia question number one. What is Joey's? What is Joey's occupation? First person to get the right answer wins the first prize. Please don't get overexcited. Do not faint or pass out. I am not responsible if you faint when you see the prizes. Rice. I'm stoner. All right. I love home sto or stoners. I'm a stoner. I'm always in Harry's lives. All right. The first guess is overseer. Um, close, but incorrect. Oh, Chuck is getting really close. Tax specialist. Oh, man. What do the judges say? Let me hold on. Let me ask Joey. Uh, Chuck, Joey said that's really close, but not 100%. I would guess because I don't have a clue. Here's a Quality control. No. Oh, we got a vote for pickle. So we got pickles in third place. Uh, nope. Zombo man, that's close, but not it. <laughs> you haven't even heard what the prize is yet. Don't get too excited. If nobody gets it, I have to give it to Chuck because he's really close. IRS agent. No. Did I say hi to you, Kent? I'm sorry if I already did, if you've been here this whole time. Nope. You, yeah, you can guess multiple times, as many times as you like. You can even look at, um, if you want to cheat, you can go to my web page and scroll through my thumbnails. I think his title on an old video is right here on his chest. You can definitely guess as many times as you want. IT manager. Nope. Pamela Lynn. Got to give it to Pamela Lynn. He's a CPA. Chuck, you were so close. I was going to give it to you if nobody else got it. Yes, Joey is a CPA, pu certified public accountant. Congratulations, right? All right. Let me write that down. Who did Joey's occupation? This is Pamela Lynn. So just send me an email with your information. Now you get to pick a prize. <laughs> FBI agent? Uh, no, because he he doesn't he has nothing from the waist down, so there's no point in him being an FBI agent. It's, it's worthless. So, pay him a little in. You get to choose between Hannah Montana Wii game, and this is what's going to make people faint: vintage '90s Simpsons pinback buttons, brand new in the pack. So put in the comment which one you want, Hannah Montana or Vintage Simpsons pinback buttons. Makes a great Christmas gift. So let me know which one you want. I know it's a hard decision. Take your time. Patrick Murphy's happy for you. <laughs> you want me to give it to Chuck? I think Chuck went away. I think he's eating dinner. I'm not sure. Da, da, da. <laughs> yeah. yeah, FBI agent. Uh, Joey is not. Chuck, you know you want the Hannah Montana Wii game. You know, if you want to see me cry, pick this one because I really don't want to give it away. It's so awesome, but. Um, if you want the Simpsons, I'd love to see you wearing these. Okay, Simpsons. Uh, let's see. Chuck. All right. Thank you for pa Pamela Lynn. That was very kind of you. Chuck was very close. 
Joey is the judge, and he said no, but we're not going to listen to him. Chuck picks Simpsons pins. All right. All right, cool. Well, that's one down. Two to go. Let's see how many people we got in here now. Uh, 14. I might have to drink one of the sodies. Congratulations, Chuck. All right. That was exciting. Yes, he is a CPA. He's not very good at it, but that's what he does. So I think our vote total, somebody else is better than me. We got three votes for peanut butter and jelly, two votes for ranch, and one vote for pickle. So I don't know. But yeah, Chuck, uh, email me. It's scrolling at the bottom of the screen. Email me your uh, address because I'm sure I lost it. I used to keep track of all the addresses. Um, but that was three years ago, and I don't know where that list is anymore. Yeah, I mean, if you guys aren't careful, Chuck might win all of the prizes. He's that good. Mm, I got to go to YouTube to see what Debbie put in there. Yeah, see? Thanks for being a member, Debbie. The Joey Icon. I wish you could see it on StreamYard. That's so weird. <laughs> Debbie is a uh, she is a VIP member of the Midwest Picker YouTube channel. And if Harry was a VIP member, he could use those crazy icons too. Uh, but yeah, for st StreamYard, it won't show you icons. It's so dumb. Yeah, I know. When you're asleep at night, Chuck, do you hear like a tapping on your bedroom window and just like assume it's like an insect or, you know, dust blown against the glass? That's not, that's me. That's me I'm trying to get your attention. I'm tapping on the window. Yeah, for sure. You can definitely, if you follow me on Instagram, you can definitely send me a private message with your address on there. Absolutely, you can. All right. Well, I don't see any more votes coming in. I'm sorry for the, you that voted for ranch and pickle, but we got, I think we got three votes for this one. And Oh man, I'm not looking forward to that. And it's Lester's fixins. Ugh. Nasty. <laughs> oh, you're so funny. All right. Well, I think um, let's do one more trivia and then I'll drink the soda. Um, I was going to, but you know, this is psychology 101, Chuck. I was going to get a bucket, but just the idea that it's there and I can see it, I think that will trigger a vomit response. So if there is no bucket, I got Joey's shirt. I can just pull it and vomit into his shirt. But that would make a mess. So this is reverse psychology. If I have no receptacle or container, then I won't get sick. How much of a... Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> no. They got this right here. Right here. I'm not going to drink right from the bottle. I'm going to pour myself a shot. Maybe. <laughs> I, I'm not going to say it. Um, yeah, one big shot of PB and J. And if it's not that bad, I might drink more than one. No, not all of it. So, do you guys want another uh, trivia, or do you want me to go to the soda? I'll let you guys vote. Another trivia question, or go right to the disgusting soda. Got my bottle opener. Yeah, it, it is fancy because it's glass. No plastic in the Midwest Picker household. Angel Green. Mm. See, there's Chuck being smarter than me again. I, I don't know. I don't know what that is. Yeah, I have a feeling it's not that bad. Are you trying to like bail me out, Harry, by voting for that? Because I have a feeling it's not that bad. 
Oh, uh, my drill instructor said you'll drink it and you'll like it. All right. Smiling. I don't know what you guys are talking about. All right, here we go. PB and J unopened. I'm gonna crack this baby open. Did you hear the hiss? I don't know what that smells like. It smells like orange marmalade. It's falling. Is there any new fortune we need to know about? No, I haven't gone since last year. And my sister's been bugging me. Uh, she lives down in Indiana. She's not bugging me, but reminding me I got to get down there because the farmer that owns the fields around her house is she, he's going to start planting soon and i got to get out there and metal detect but i don't know i should take a vacation day in the middle of the week that would be cool oh yeah 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 the coat commercial thanks mean joe and he threw his sweaty dirty ripped up jersey all right here we go pb and j look at that color Ooh. You hear that hiss and fizzle? Fizzle and hiss? God, oh, it doesn't smell good. Yeah, I only remember one thing from Caddyshack, and that was the Baby Ruth bar. Oh. That tastes nothing like peanut butter and jelly. It tastes like bread. I forgot peanut butter and jelly sandwich is bread, peanut butter, and jelly. But what flavored jelly? That's the question. They don't tell you. Pure cane sugar, like that helps. There's a hint of peanut butter and a mystery jelly and bread. How do they make, well, I mean, Jelly Belly has over 100 flavors. There's there's a chemical formula for everything. Uh, yeah, it kind of looks orangey, orange marmalade. I don't know, but it does, it really does taste like wheat bread. Oh, man. Harry, what are, you're killing me, man. That tastes like crap. <laughs> So it's right on the bottle, made with cane sugar. I wish it was just cane sugar and plain water. Oh, there's something about your brain. Because somebody asked me one time, I had um, mac and cheese flavored candy cane. Harry will remember this. I did shiitake mushroom, mac and cheese. I mailed some to Harry. And when you eat the mac and cheese candy cane, it's, it has no sugar in it. And the reason it's so bad is because your brain is programmed on texture and temperature of food. So when you taste mac and cheese in your mouth, your brain is used to it being warm and a soft texture like noodles. And then when it's a hard chunk of candy, your brain can't handle it and it tastes bad. It just tastes bad. So this is flavored like bread. Well, you don't drink bread. You're supposed to chew it and it's dry. So when you drink bread, your brain instantly just goes, that's wrong. <laughs> Something ain't right. And uh, it's supposedly got sugar in it, but man. All right. That's all I can handle. Yowza, that was not good. No, it did make a hissing sound when I opened the bottle. And then when I poured it in the glass, it was fizzing for a second. So it wasn't it wasn't as fizzy as like Coca-Cola, that's for sure. It did kind of appear flat-ish. Um, but yeah. Ugh. Yeah, thanks, Ken. All right, I drank I drank a shot, a double shot, a triple shot for you guys. <laughs> um, thanks yeah it's uh, uh, my pain your gain free entertainment that cost you anything to be here uh, but that's the only one I'm going to do I can't do more than that I don't think my stomach can handle it but next week Sunday 
I'll go live, and then we'll have five to choose from. Unless you want to pick, like, the blackberry pie and the strawberry cheesecake. I don't mind drinking those. But we're down to five bizarre sodies, including the blood. You guys can vote next week. I'll put up a thumbnail, like, three days ahead of time. Um, so there'll be, And I'll pin a comment. I'll figure out how to do all that. Uh, yeah, it's called Bloody Nose. It's called Gross Gusses. In case you want to look it up on the internet. Gross Gusses Bloody Nose. It's And it's really red. <laughs> uh, come on. You want me to do... <laughs> You want me to do two two sodies in one live stream? I don't know, man. It, is, is it getting votes? I mean, I'll do whatever the people want. Whatever the people want. I did put it in the thumbnail. I just don't want to. Okay, all right. Looks like it's a winner. <laughs> Debbie said, I came here to watch you drink the blood, not yap and talk. All right, so we will do the blood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good idea, um, Marie. I'll do a, my, if you go to my regular YouTube page, there's a community tab. Um, and I think if you're subscribed, you'll get a notification. I'll put a poll on there and have you guys vote. Way ahead. I'll put that up tomorrow, a week ahead of time. All right, let's do one more trivia. And then I'll break out the bloody nose oh. yeah see debbie's flaunting the icons the dr pepper i wish i had some dr pepper i have diet dr pepper in the fridge but that'd be cheating i don't want to oh yeah i forgot i got my palate cleanser right here gotta get that pb and j out of my mouth before drinking the blood you know that's what martha stewart says before you drink the blood Make sure you cleanse your palate after drinking PB and J. Oh yeah, I can always count on a little Debbie. All right, Chuck wants the blood too. All right, that seals the deal. When Chuck says drink the blood, I drink the blood. All right, <laughs> Martha's the gangster. All right, this one. I think Harry might get this trivia question. And this is a hard one. If nobody gets it, I might have to come up with something else. <clears throat> Are you ready? This is a visual trivia question. Kind of like a video uh, daily double on Jeopardy. Who is this bass player? <laughs> Who is... Who is this bass player? Put the answer in the chat. And you will win a free prize, free shipping. The prize is valuable in my mind. Makes a great Christmas gift. Who is the bass player? Look at the answers just flying in the chat. I'll keep it here in case you want to use Google Lens. <laughs> Uh, da, da. We got Patrick. No, not not Patrick. Good guess. I know what band he's in, but I don't know his name. Oh, well, if you got your uh, you got your phone handy, Harry. I mean, you're allowed to cheat in these trivia questions. You can look it up. Yeah. We're not even getting guesses coming in. Probably because nobody wants that Hannah Montana Wii game. Look at that handsome fella. Harry, it's at the tip of your tongue, Harry. Da, da, da. I think I stumped my crowd. I think it's a little too difficult. Da, 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 da. Take the stickers off. Boom! Look at that. Even though he doesn't got the name, I'm giving it to Harry. Iron Maiden, Steve Harris. Look at that. 
Harry knows his heavy metal. He knows his rock and roll. All right, Harry. Let's see here. You got a choice. You get to pick between Hannah Montana Wii game. I'm surprised you guys aren't fighting over this thing. And Simpsons pinback buttons sealed in the package from 1994. So tell me which prize you want. Hannah Montana, the game, or Simpsons buttons. Harry is the big winner. Yeah, Steve Harris. I'm sure you knew that. You just couldn't come up with it. You were close. John Taylor, uh, close, but nope. Uh, yay, Harry. <laughs> I, I rigged the trivia for Harry because I knew he was a stoner. So which is it, Harry? Put it in the chat. It's a hard decision. Maybe I should give Harry like 10, 15 minutes to decide which which one he wants. The Hannah Montana, Wii game, or the buttons. You want the weekend at Mackinac Island? All right, see you later. I ain't paying for that. All right, he wants the Simpsons. Okay, bass player goes to Harry. And he wants pins. All right, congratulations, Harry. These are vintage. You can sell them. You can keep them. Give them as a gift. Give them to your son. You might like that. Got to be the Simpsons. Well, you know, we got one more trivia question before I'm done tonight. You might, you might get two. And it seems like these questions are hard. I should probably come up with easier ones. Maybe next next live, next Sunday, I'll, I'll have three easier ones and um, different prizes, too, of course. Of course. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, Harry's going to just rip them out of the package, and he's going to put them all over his jean jacket for his next live. Yeah. I'm surprised nobody wants the Wii game. Kind of shocked. All right, what was the next soda I was going to drink? Dr. Pepper? Is that what it was? I can't remember. Oh, that's right. It was the blood. Um, yeah. I don't think it'll affect... There's a little drop in here. Yeah, it's clean enough. So now it's going to be blood with a little residual of PB&J. Like you got a bloody nose while eating a PB&J and then you ate it. I don't know. Oh, I can't. I can't see. Because. Oh. <laughs> I Debbie, I named that icon Fathead. That is hilarious. The crowd demands blood. Really? You had that happen? I know in the wintertime when the air is really dry in the house, sometimes people get a bloody nose spontaneously because of the dry air. I've never had a bloody nose into my food and then ate it, though. So this is a new one for me. All right. Blood. All right, make sure you, uh, if you have any kids in the room, make sure you remove them. This could be traumatizing. I want you guys to see me pop it open so you don't think I'm cheating. Oh, listen to that hiss. There we go. Just like a bottle of beer. Dun, dun, dun. All right, this much? Is that good enough? I think that's a shot in a, at a bar or saloon. You guys want me to do a double shot? There. Look at, can you hear the fizz? All right. Yeah, get better, Debbie. That's no fun at all. Yep, I heard a lot of people have that. Harry's like, shut up. 
Shut up and drink. You want me to drink the whole thing or just like sip it? Because I don't mind just like sipping it, but I'll I'll just throw the whole thing back if you want. It that is big. When I put it next to my fat head, it doesn't look as big. It looks like a thimble. But when it's closer to the camera, it looks big. <sighs> All right. I got my palate cleanser. Here we go. <laughs> Harry's like, quit stalling. All right. Oh, man. That is not what I thought. <sighs> it smells normal. It didn't taste bad. Oh, my gosh. I don't know if you guys can see this. Can you see what it says there? What a rip. I paid five bucks for this bottle. I could have just bought Fago. That's stupid. Ah, uh, I was really hoping it was gross. Five dollars for a bottle of Fago. <laughs> oh man. Well, I'm disappointed. That might make a good thumbnail though. If I hold it right. That was dumb. Dumb, dumb, dumb. There's five dollars down the drain. <laughs> I should break out the Doritos and, and uh, pretzel sticks because, yeah, I'm just going to sit here and drink the whole bottle. Uh, gross Gus is a liar. He ripped me off. I got to pay closer attention. I'm not paying five bucks for that again. But I did give you two bottles, and, and normally it's only one. So I did. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I'm just going to pour it down the drain because it tastes like liquid wheat bread, which is awful. And this, I'm just going to kick back and drink the rest of it. All right, we got our third trivia question. How many people do we have in here? Do uh, do uh, 12 people. Yeah. People are going to be sad that they missed out on this opportunity. All right. Third and final trivia. This is a difficult one, but, you know, if you have Google Lens on your phone, or you, you can uh, just Google it with your phone. Look it up. Um, this is another visual trivia, like in Jeopardy. But what is the name of these blue aliens? Right there. They have a name, and it's not Sleestack. What are the name of these blue aliens? You have 30 seconds. Go. No, I'm just kidding. You got all, all night. Take your time. Take a picture. Get your phone out. Take a picture of the video. Do a Google search. <laughs> uh, no, they're not called crap. Unless you're referring to the non-bloody bloody soda we're looking for the the species name of the blue alien it's kind of creepy isn't it yeah look at that it's a good movie by the way it's chuck's favorite uh it's called a dvd <laughs> it's a movie it's a sci-fi from 1974. It's an animated film. It's a French film. If you've never seen it, I recommend you go on Amazon and buy your own copy. If you're a sci-fi fan, it's very good. If you're not, 
you'll wonder why you're subscribed to this channel. Oh, Pamela Lynn, you are so close. That's the name of the humans in the movie. I am impressed. You're getting there. You're so close. The humans in the story are the ohms. That's a what? Uh, nope, you're close. Not even close, Harry. Uh, Debbie, nope. Marie, uh, spelling does not count, but the first one I saw was Marie. But Pamela, you are very close. Uh, the first one I saw was Marie. Um, not spelled perfect, but that's okay. So you're the winner. Pamela, you're second runner up. But very good. It's a good movie, if you like sci fi. Harry took a wild guess. I'm not surprised. All right. Okay, Marie, you get to pick between, I don't know, maybe I should mail you a bottle of soda. All right, I'm going to let Marie pick. You can have the bottle of ranch dressing soda, and it'll be bubble wrapped and bulletproof when I ship it. It's heavy, though. Or Simpsons buttons or Hannah Montana. Or Simpsons or ranch soda. You pick what you want, and I'll send it to you. Buttons. Really? All right, I'm gonna put. I'm gonna list this as an auction on eBay. Starting bid ninety nine dollars. It's just what I do. All right, you get the buttons, and uh, make sure you uh, message me your mailing address. Do, do, do. E R R E. All right, that's three sets of buttons going out Monday. Awesome. Enjoy them, sell them, give them away. Whatever you want. What time is it? Yeah, we'll cut this off at 8 o'clock. It's been fun. So, uh, oh, man, we're down to four bottles of soda. You guys got a bonus bottle of peanut butter and jelly and the blood, which was not blood. Stupid. I don't trust those. But if you've ever had the Jelly Belly Bamboozled, those are nasty. Just just so you know. You're welcome, Marie. Thanks for being here. I appreciate it. So probably next Sunday at 7, I'll go live. And uh, we'll vote on these again. Thanks for being here, you guys. I appreciate it. I'm glad I have high-speed internet again. It does help a lot. I tried to go live without it. Pop Smurf, are you uh, are you lurking? I, I don't think you even voted tonight. <laughs> you commented before I went live. Oh, see? You'll have to watch the replay of me drinking the bloody soda, the peanut butter and jelly, and come back next Sunday eight days from now and uh, i'll have you guys vote on the other flavors uh ranch dressing soda pickle soda bacon soda or sweet corn soda you don't want to miss it yeah those bamboozles are bad yeah thank you jennifer yeah i don't think i do any um buffering or freezing or low def i mean i, th I think it's working out really good Oh, that's okay. You're not late. You come in here anytime you want. You can watch the replay if you want to watch me drink this. Or you can watch me right now. Uh, bloody nose tastes great on a Saturday night. Except it ain't. Mm -mm. Well, thank you. I missed you guys, too. This is a lot of fun. Da, 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 da. 
<laughs> yeah. January of 2022. It's the last time I was here. All right, guys, it's eight o'clock. It's been an hour. I'm going to go. Thank you very much for being here. I greatly appreciate it. I had a lot of fun. I'll get these pins mailed out Monday to the trivia winners, and I'll come up with some easier trivia questions throughout the week and um, some better prizes, too, because if it doesn't sell and it's taking up space in my office, I'm just going to give it away. Give it away to my subscribers and my viewers. Bum crack picker. What's up, man? I knew Saturday night was not a good time to go live. Uh, it's so, There's so many live shows out there right now, and it's hard for people to get in here. But um, I will be live eight days from now. Next week, Sunday, 7 p.m., I'll be going live. So come on back. All right, guys. Thanks for being here. See you in eight days.